What's up, everybody? My name is Chris, and today in this video, I want to talk to you about how you can work more easily or with better posture on a desk with your computer, even while traveling. This is exactly the setup that I have used for the past few years when I was traveling more or less full time before now having a home in Germany. Now, the main point here is that when you are on a computer, like I am right now, with a desk right in front of you and the computer, of course, you can start working like that. However, as you can see, when I am looking at the monitor right here and I'm working on the monitor and on the computer, then you can see that I am really slouched over and I'm straight up looking down. And if you do that for an extended period of time, every single day for many hours on end as a programmer or stock trader, photo editor, graphics design, VA, or whatever you are doing, that's not necessarily the best thing in my opinion. Now, when I started traveling, I did exactly that. Just work on my computer with the keyboard built in, with a trackpad built in, and nothing else. However, after just a couple of short weeks, when I started traveling a few years ago, I invested into something that's called the Roost Stand, which is basically a laptop stand, raising it up to a different height so that you have more of a straight line of sight. And for me, I also went with an external trackpad from Apple and also their keyboard. Now, the whole setup then looks something like this. You have the roost stand, which you can open like this, and then you can take your laptop, put the roost stand in front of you, put the laptop in there, and now you have a laptop that is raised up, and now you can see the laptop is more or less eye level. And now, with this setup, I have my external keyboard and trackpad, and with this, you can see, based on the camera perspective right there, I am much more looking straight ahead instead of being slouched over as I was before. And that, of course, has everything to do with the fact that now the monitor is simply raised off the ground or the desk and is, of course, more on eye level. Now, in the realm of laptop stands for this type of work and especially for travel, there has been a lot of development in the last few years since I started using this Roost Stand version number two. And I actually reached out to Roost as well as the makers of a competitive product, which is called the Next Stand. And I asked them whether they would send out a newer version of their respective stands. And the Next Stand actually did send out one. However, from Roost, I did not hear back. So I'm going to compare the Next Stand to the Roost Stand version number two, which is discontinued. And they do now have a different offer on their website. However, I have not tested that one. So I'm going to go ahead, show you the details of this one versus the Roost Stand version number two, and which one I think might be a better fit for you as a traveler in certain circumstances. Now, the basic functionality is basically the same. When I put the Roost Stand off to the side and I open up the next stand, you will notice that the concept is pretty much identical. However, which you will also notice is when I now take the laptop and put it here into the next stand and I open that up, this actually is additionally higher than the roost stand in its maximum height. Now, I will mention that the roost stand version number three shows that it probably will offer a additional height as well in comparison to the version number two that I have right here. However, again, I cannot confirm that. The next stand definitely gives you more height than the roost stand number version two. And this I have actually shot as a comparison so that I can show this on the screen here with the maximum height and the minimum height of both of these stands. Now I wanna give you a couple more technical specifications before jumping into the making and the finish and how it feels to use. Now, first up we have the weight and there the roost stand is significantly lighter than the next stand. Even the version number three from the Roost stand also still lighter than the next stand. Then we have the length and size and in the packaged format, the Roost stand version number two and three are pretty much identical and they are smaller than the next stand. However, on that front, the next stand has a higher finished height or maximum height. So that is of course also going to show in the packaged sizing. So the Roost stand, a little smaller package, but not as high and the next stand, bigger packaged size, however, also a higher maximum height. The next stand also features eight settings for the height adjustability from the lowest all the way to the highest, 
where the Roost stand number 2 only featured two height adjustment settings, and the version 3 has a couple more. And then of course we also have the pricing, in which front the next stand definitely wins with something around 45 euros for the whole set with which you can use this for smaller as well as bigger laptops. And they actually also include these little clips right here, so you can mount these right here into the little holders where your laptop goes, and when you clip these in, then smaller laptops like for example the MacBook Air or similar are also no problem whatsoever for this stand, and they just hold in there very nicely. Now keep in mind I have used the roof stand for four or five years at this point, I know it very well, and it has definitely been used a lot, pretty much daily for certain times in the year when I was traveling with this full time. Now here in the office I'm not using it as extensively because I also have a monitor which I can use to work on. However I do really like to use this here in this corner of my set because then I can put this in the corner right there, probably on the lowest setting so it's not in the shot as much, and then I have my laptop right there off to the side so I can actually control all of the things here, have this with the MIDI controller also set up, and of course the teleprompter for the use case of for example a zoom call. Now despite being used for four or five years at this point, this is pretty much in stellar condition, it still works perfectly and is really easy to use, and I really enjoy using this. And I also want to say that the finish of the roof stand feels a little more, I don't know, nicer. It feels more like a uh, throughout designed product with everything being nicely smooth, rounded corners, and it also doesn't have as much wiggle room as I will demonstrate here with the next stand. Now here on this one you do only have three height adjustments, however I have found that I don't really need the in-between adjustments as much. For me it's either the lowest or it is the highest most of the time. Um, however I do see a point in having more adjustment points in for example the version 3 or the next stand which provides you with that. Now the one thing that I definitely can say is that a little more height would be nice for my own personal use, because my body height is something around 182 centimeters, and sometimes this here is just not enough. The roof stand maximum height, it just feels nicer or would be nicer to be a couple more centimeters higher. And there, of course, the next stand has a huge benefit because it can give you that extra reach. Now, continuing more of a comparison style, when you look at these feet right here on the roof stand, there are really rubbery, and that again is still very much intact after having been used for years. On the next stand you also have somewhat rubbery feet, however they're not nearly as anti-slip as the roof stand feet are. And the same thing is true for the front where you put your laptop. Here you have pretty much plastic all around, and on the roof stand you do have more of a rubbery feel to it, which feels like it would hold the laptop a little bit better in terms of the anti-slip. Now when I look at the next stand, it feels a little more plasticky. It feels more rugged and it doesn't have as nice of a finish in terms of everything being nicely rounded off and such. And of course, as I just mentioned, it also doesn't necessarily feel like there's everything that could be in terms of rubber, so that it is not as slippery. For example, if I do a demonstration here with this in the highest position and I put the laptop in like so, and I now put a little bit of pressure here on the side, it is slipping out. So that is one thing. And now if I do the same test here on the roost stand, and I put my laptop in there like so, and I push here, I notice that I have to push a lot harder, and it definitely gives me more resistance on that. So that is something that I would take into consideration when traveling with this. Overall, I think the recommendation on these goes out to both of them. For my personal opinion, the roof stand a little better made, the neck stand provides you with more height to work with, however that is something the version 3 roof stand can also give you potentially, however again I have not tested that. The roof stand feels a little nicer in terms of its finish and of course also the anti-slip, however the next stand gives you more height adjustment options, it is about half as expensive as the roof stand version 3, and with that probably also more accessible to more people. Now personally, on my next trip to Marbella, I'm really torn between these two, because I like the smaller form factor and the lesser weight on the roof stand, however I do also really appreciate the added height on the next stand. 
So maybe I will have to do a coin toss between these two to see which one ends up in my suitcase. Now lastly, I would absolutely recommend you check one of these out if you are working on a mobile or travel-based lifestyle with a laptop in your kit and you have to do a lot of work on your computer every day or just about a couple of days a week. This here will improve your posture, it will help you work more easily and just overall have a nicer experience there. Personally, I use the Apple MacBook Pro 15 inch with the Apple keyboard externally and the external trackpad as well. My personal reason for the trackpad is that for one, I really like and enjoy how it works with the Mac. They have a really great trackpad functionality. However, additionally, this also gives me the freedom of being able to use this on pretty much any surface without having to worry about the dirt or dust going around into the sensor, into the mouse or stuff like that. Also, I can charge this while I'm using it, which is not possible with the original Apple mouse. And just overall, I really enjoy this work setup and I have been using it for years at this point and it is still holding up. Now, I recognize that the Apple keyboard and trackpad also are not the cheapest which you can get. However, if you are investing into this into the long term, and again, I have been using these for like four or five years at this point, and they're still holding up strong, not broken or anything like that. And overall, it's just a work investment that is worth it to me. Now with that, I hope this video was helpful for you to get a look at the Roost and Next stand for the laptops, especially for the digital nomad lifestyle. And of course, you can check out all of the products in the links in the description below. If you have any questions about the Roost, the Next, or any of the other things that I talk about, you can do so in the comment section down below and we'll have a conversation there. And of course, if you found this interesting or helpful, give it a thumbs up, that always helps out. And now, I hope you have an amazing day, make your life a little better with a straighter posture when you're working on a mobile desk setup, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao!